Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to convert an MKV video file into an MP4. And this is most commonly used when recording on OBS. So if I go to the settings menu and I go to output here, what happens is that I can choose a recording format. The most common one is MKV. If I actually choose MP4, what will happen is that if you have any kind of issue with the recording, for example, if you have a power cut or OBS crashes, then the MP4 video will be unrecoverable. That's why it's preferable to record an MKV. However, this means that if you want to import it into certain video applications or to put it into your video photo library, then you're going to have to remux it. So that means that we're going to extract the MP4 video out of this MKV. So this is actually very simple to do. What we need to do is to open OBS and what you need to do is to go to the top left hand side of the screen, click file button at the top of the menu and then click remux recordings. So this is going to bring up the remuxing video menu and then on the left hand side of this menu bar here we have OBS recording and what this means is that we need to find the OBS recording that we made earlier. So we're going to click on these three dots here. So here I've navigated to my MKV file and then I'm going to click open and what that's done is that it's basically going to create an MP4 file in the same folder as the original MKV file and all I'm going to do is to click Remux. Once that's done, it's pretty much instantaneous. All it did was actually just pull out the MP4 out of the MKV, and then we have an MP4 file now, which we can now use in different applications, which were not necessarily compatible with MKV. There is also an alternate way to convert MKVs to MP4s. It actually takes a bit longer. We actually have to do a conversion process, which requires re-encoding the file. However, this can be useful in other situations when you have an MKV that does not contain MP4 file within it. You can check out that tutorial video in the link in the description. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.